folks called me to order. Um, just a couple of announcements. Um, I'm Dan McKinley, the moderator. Um, the first order of business will be to elect the moderator. Uh, I'll uh, preside over that to be electing the moderator. Also want to note that ORCA, the Onion River Community Access, is uh, a recording of tonight's meeting. And the, the, those are available on onionrivermedia.net. You can just punch in, uh, uh, type in Rochester, and you can see the results of tonight's meeting online. Um, our, our business tonight is on uh, page one of the Rochester School Report. Um, and I want to remind, uh, are there any uh, non-residents non uh, here? So one non-resident. Um, if there are no objections, we, we always let our, our, our guests speak um, at our school and town meeting. So if there are no objections, we'll let our guests speak. Um, just remind our guests that um, they can't vote on articles. And I'll read a warning. Rochester step, uh, Town School District warning. The legal voters of Rochester Town School District, Rochester, Vermont, are hereby notified and warned to meet at Rochester High School Auditorium in said town on Monday, March 26, 2018, at 7 p.m. to transact the following business. Article 1, we elect a moderator. Article 2, to elect three school directors for a term that will expire on the date the district ceases to exist pursuant to the merger study report and articles of agreement approved by the State Board of Education on October 18, 2017. And Article 3, any other business necessary to proper come before the meeting. Thank you. Now, uh, are there any, any announcements or anything that the, the board wanted to do before we get into the first article? Oh, yep, some handouts, you want to? Yep, yep. Uh, Frank has provided some handouts down here. We do have a copy of the annual report for anybody that Frank didn't bring it. Um, there is the town treasurer's report that, and that has the fund balances that uh, I guess was not ready at the time of printing, but are available now. And also a uh, uh, debt and balances and property transfer that actually pulled out of the articles of agreement if anybody's interested in any of that information. Thank you, Lee. And we'll move to the uh, first article. Article 1, to elect a moderator. Nominations. Martha? I'd like to nominate Dan McKinley. Dan McKinley's been nom second. nominated and second. Any other nominations? Okay, none. We'll no objections. We'll close the nominations and ask the clerk to pass one ballot for Dan McKinley from my Okay. Um, Article 2, to elect three school directors for a term that will expire on the date the district ceases to exist pursuant to the merger study report and articles of agreement approved by the State Board of Education on October 18, 2017. So I'd like to move this article. So move. Second. 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 So this, this article um, has three directors in it. We're going to um, divide those into elections for three separate. Um, it's not like it's going to be a slate of uh, will be three separate uh, elections. So um, we have nominations for a board of director for this term that will expire. Amy. I like that. Jeff Sherwin. Jeff Sherwin's been elected. Second. Second. <laughs> We have nominations for this seat. Hearing none, no objections. We'll close nomination and ask the clerk to pass one ballot for Jeff Sherwin for school director for the term that expires from the date the district ceases to exist. For the second uh, school director, nominations? Frank Russell. Frank Russell has been nominated. Second. Seconded. Same yes. Any other nominations? Very none. No objections. We'll close nominations. And I'll ask the clerk to cast one ballot for Frank Russell. Go 
our school director for the term that will expire. The date the school, school district the district ceases to exist. And the third school director seats and nominations. I yes. nominate Megan Payne. Megan Payne has been nominated. Second. Seconded by Amy Wolf. Any other nominations? Hearing none, no objections, we'll close nominations. And I'll ask um, the clerk to pass one ballot for Megan Payne for a school director for a term that will expire on the date the district ceases to exist. Article three, to conduct any other necessary and proper business that may legally come before the meeting. about the Dandelion Daycare building? Yeah, can we get in front of the mic and identify the There's a question about the, what will happen with the Dandelion Daycare yeah. building? Yeah. Yes, that is actually on our agenda for the next meeting, which is our, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, the Dandelion Daycare business is on the agenda for the meeting that actually follows this meeting, our regular scheduled school board meeting. We do need to reorganize first after um, this meeting concludes and we do need our superintendent to do that. So hopefully we can transition into our regular meeting. Thank you. Any other business, questions, comments? Will the school forest also be discussed then? Will the school forest also be discussed? Mm, it's not specifically on the agenda. Nothing else? No other comments or questions? We'll accept the motion to adjourn this town meeting, town school meeting. And, and you're going to go right into your regular well, we, meeting or do we continue? Have we closed this meeting? Well, I was about to, but I Yeah, um, we would like to go into our, our um, regular scheduled meeting, but we, there's the uh, reorganization of the board, which has to take place after we just concluded this meeting. Um, but it might be a little less. So you're going to need to take a little, a little break. Yeah. You need some more people here. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll call Bruce and see okay. if um, uh, when he's going to be here, or if there's another uh, officer that can do it in his absence. Okay. Or, but yeah, we, we do want to go yeah. into our next meeting. Okay. So. Um, um, Take a motion to adjourn, and then the um, Nancy Woolley will to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's adjourned. Uh, can I call this meeting to order? Um, this being the first meeting of the Rochester School Board for uh, actually the next three months uh, with the newly elected uh, members. Um, I usually start the meeting until we get a chair and then the chair takes over and, and goes from there. Uh, so, uh, I, if, if we can call this uh, meeting to order at 17 minutes after seven. Um, and I'd like to uh, skip to uh, the reorganization part and come back to your adjustments to the agenda and the consent agenda and the other items, if nobody has any objections. Okay. okay, hearing none, I would like to call for nominations for a chair for the Rochester School Board until July, until June 30th of this year. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Um, may I ask the clerk to cast one ballot for Jeff Sherwin. Are there any other nominations first? I guess there can't be since one of them. Made the motion the other second. <laughs> so, um, 
So Jeff, uh, I so declare that you are the chair for the shortest uh, election period in the history of uh, any town. No problems. I'll hear nominations for the uh, vice chair first. Nominate Frank. Okay. I second Frank for any other nomination. Pass the ballot. Uh, I'll hear nominations for a clerk of the board. I'll do it.
of Rochester Stockbridge District Board has set their meetings to be the first Tuesday of the month. It would be convenient if we all wanted to try to meet at that same time, place, make for a longer, robust day of meeting, but. What time are your meetings? Six. It would just alleviate groups from that, you know, one multiple. But we can't hold two meetings simultaneously. And I'll hold two meetings simultaneous. No. It would have trying to, to get away from that. Well, two meetings simultaneous. Right, and if Stockbridge did the same thing, then it would be there would be three. Potentially three meetings. But they probably would not last but it's only gonna be for another couple months, really. I'm hoping that the new board will change to Wednesday so that I can do Hancock and Granville and then go to Rochester and Stockbridge while I'm still over here. On when they have theirs on Wednesday. They have theirs on the first Wednesday. That's but bad. we can discuss that later. Very bad for me. Oh. Well we can discuss that later. But. Okay. Well that's just the time of the new district. Can we have our meetings first? be quicker to get Maybe us out of here. I'm available earlier in the day and then it, yeah I, I mean I don't want to meet at noon I can but I think not. our meetings are going to be much shorter than you guys. Mm -hmm. so Definitely. Maybe we meet at five then. So do we need to necessarily put a time can we just say before the sure. the um, district meeting on the first Tuesday of the month? Does that make any sense? Yeah, okay. whatever, whatever you want to do. But if we try to schedule after your meetings, we're going to be waiting for you to finish. I would say so. Or we can just keep it to the Wednesday, um, but... It doesn't work for you, does it? I've been making it work, or but... Or the April, May. At 5. Yeah, at 5 works in Rochester. You're going to do it at 5 on Tuesday, but April. Bruce will have to come back over. It's only three meetings we're talking about. Right, right. right. So that works at three meetings, but having them before, I think would be fine. Uh, but is that going to be alternating now? Probably. Between Stockbridge and Rochester. I would think so. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and I would recommend that our first meeting, pending, pending what happens, if there's any business that needs to be taken care of beforehand, because the first meeting would be April 3rd, next week. So I don't know if we need to have a meeting next week or if we need if we just wait until May 1st. Just wait until May 1st. Is that what you want to do? Is that the date? Yeah, that's the, that would be the date. It would be the, the Let's do that. first Tuesday in May, pending no other taken care of prior to that. Okay. Again, we can always call a special meeting. Yeah. Okay. What were our posting places? A lot of Max and no of Post office, clerk. Post office in the town office. And the school. school. Do we um focus on this?
is, do you know if your mom's going to be here? She's still at the busy select board meeting. So she's still at the select board meeting. Jeff, do you want to go back to the meeting in a minute? Three, one, yeah, yeah. Two. Okay. yeah. I'd like yeah, to keep those on the yeah. agenda um, at, at this time. What's that? What did you do last time? Matt is here. Okay. Yay! I hear a motion to approve the minutes of Wednesday, December 20th, 17th, regular board meeting. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Approve the minutes of the motion to approve the minutes of the Wednesday, January 24th, regular meeting. So moved. Second. Any discussion? No. All those in favor say aye. Aye. 3.3 has been tabled. Brings us to board communication and comment. Okay, well, I wanted to communicate um, on behalf of the um, Rochester Stockbridge Unified District Board that um, there has been some changes uh, in the annual meeting for the new district and the final budget review and warning. Um, it has been the original meeting to vote on the budget was supposed to be April 24th, and it has now been changed to May 15th. Time and location is still be to be determined. We will hopefully determine that at our April 3rd meeting. Anything more? Uh, no. You want to tell them the reason why? Oh. <laughs> so we're nowhere near uh, okay. the budget yet. Oh, okay, but the, the reason why is because um, we, have our, we haven't had time to complete the budget process and um, we're still working on gathering numbers and, and fleshing out some ideas and possibilities. And we'll be working, we have a number of budget meetings coming up for the new district if anybody's interested in coming to them. There's uh, Wednesday the 28th of this month, then our regular meeting April 3rd, which is a Tuesday, and then hopefully we will have final budget review and warning approval on April 12th. So there's basically two more working meetings, hopefully the final meeting will be more of a um, final review. What draft are you on? He says five, it's only the second time we've ever seen it though, so. <laughs> I'm not sure where the other drafts have gone. Uh, but we definitely are working really well together. Um, there's a lot of exciting ideas um, going on, but definitely a lot to discuss and, and to figure out. We'll move on to six, public communication. You wanna suggest maybe saving that? Because there's a, it's on again at, at 11. I saw that. Oh, we can do it both. Yeah. But, yeah, okay. Old business, 8.1 Rochester School Board to do list before July 1st of 2018. Um, as we know, we have a variety of you, uh, people who use the building. Uh, the White River Valley players currently use the auditorium. We have the... Um, Rochester shelter team that uses the uh, elementary school in emergency uh, situations and we want to make sure that we have language going forward into the um, new district when we combined that continues that use those use agreements um, has the lawyer been able to come up with uh, anything? I've said I said we what you what um, he was looking for was some kind of a, a form and a policy around how this building or either of the buildings get utilized and uh, the steps we go through in order to make that possible because they wanted to continue to leave it a community uh, opportunity for the community to use it. Uh, I sent it a uh, request to, uh, to our attorneys to see if they have a form. I'm sure we'll be able to find something that we can doctor and that the board accepts. Um, so that's one of the things that we'd like to do before you go out of office and we finish. So those are the only two that I, um, well, we do have the Rochester Rec Committee uh, 
uses the kids use the fields. Um, is there other um, uh, uh, groups in the community that you know ha currently use the building that we want to make sure? Yeah. What about Suzuki. Suzuki. Yeah, I think that that's good. One Planet, One Planet Summer Program. Is that is the One Planet Summer Program separate from the regular um, year-long program, or is it? They do it differently in the summer. So last year it was in Stockbridge. I don't know if they okay. we're gonna go back and forth. Or I think it's in Stockbridge, Stockbridge this year, but there is an hour at the beginning and the end that kids are in Rochester, like an early drop-off and a late pickup, oh. so they can accommodate longer hours and they get on a bus and go back back and forth to Stockbridge. So they will be here needing some use of the building morning and afternoon. <coughs> well, I uh, encourage you guys to think if there's other, um, you know, community uh, organizations that use the building currently or, and, you know, just get in touch with me so I can be aware of it. Right, the players. The players in the shelter, Rochester shelter, were the two that were um, high in my list. Yeah, so. What about town meeting? Town meeting? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you think of any, please contact me or us. 8.2 Dandelion Daycare. Okay, I actually like to uh, ask Patty to come talk to us a little bit about um, some ideas with the Dandelion Building. We had, in our agreement, <coughs> excuse me, with um, Stockbridge, we had agreed that we would seek to try to sell the Dandelion. Uh, daycare building. Uh, we did find that the Dandelion Daycare um, property is all part of the school property, so that check makes it a little trickier when you go to sell it. Um, the elementary school property. Isn't the elementary and the high school property one? I, think it's I believe so. But I, I don't, I'd have to look at the research that our attorney did Okay. And I don't have it handy. Um, Which I believe Dandelion is also part of the campus. Yeah, I I so have. This is not a map of the of um, does not have the high school in, in it, but it does have the um, Dandelion and and the property. Uh, really, just shows the elementary property in the back, soccer field property. Shows the portion of the property that's owned by the town and. We got that because we wanted all to build the elementary. Yeah, uh, and uh, actually, just prior to this meeting, um, uh, Gopher was talking to me that the fire department had Norm Smith come and survey the Dandelion Daycare, Dandelion Daycare property um, when they were originally looking at putting the firehouse there, um, and he thinks that actual pins were put in. But it has not never been subdivided. But it was never subdivided, correct? That process is going to take at least two months. So that is a process that the school board, because you are owner of record, um, should get going. Their next meeting is April 3rd. Um, so that would be the zoning committee? <laughs> yeah. So that would be something that needs to actually start, start moving along right away because of the uh, the warnings that they have to have before they can actually approve a subdivision. They may be able to call special meetings to expedite the process. We'll never have it sold by the 1st of July. Oh, but maybe we could have it under contract. Now, I don't know I, how I'm, that I'm like actively, you know, uh, seeking buyers, and I, I, would, I would not say that that's 100% true. It's, it's probably a good probability, but um, I... I, I do know of some interest in the building, so the first thing we need to do is get it subdivided and determine how much land goes with it. Now we had talked about... Um, Can you get us a copy of the, what the lawyer dug up on that the last time? What the lawyer dug up on that? 
the other line? Yeah. But do you, do you remember any red flags? Is that what you're thinking, or no? Just, yeah, just, just to have the information. Some detail, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Now, because even if there is not a private buyer, are we going to consider selling it back to the town? Yes. open to that discussion. Okay. Uh, ultimately, that would probably be what the end result would be if there is no cash buyer, uh, a private buyer, cash buyer. But our, the goal for, for me right now, um, even though I'm, I'm not under contract to sell it or anything, is, is, is to find somebody that will actually pay money for the building so that the original uh, intent is followed. And, and we show Stockbridge that we are following into what the wish was for the original plan. So right. that, that's what I'm working towards, as hard as I can. Now, of course, um, there is a little some cost to subdividing. But would that fall under our budget, or would we try to hold on to and include those in the cost of the sale to a private? It could be that. It could also be considered as part of the merger. Larger funds, if possible. I was wondering what the costs are you're talking about for subdividing, other than a permit. Well, that's what I was wondering. I'm not sure what the costs are. I mean, you need a lawyer. I would just, um, the, I guess, survey. lawyer fees. You'd uh, have to have a survey. Search, Sur the survey. Survey. The survey. I'm, I'm primarily, then, it's all survey. What? It primarily, it's, it's all, all a new so survey. So it, it'd be interesting to know what Gopher was uh, talking about that the fire department had had it surveyed and and Norm Smith had that information already. Would is that something that he would um sh that uh, sh would share with uh, us? You think, or would we have to have him resurvey it? I just don't know how it works with it properties. It depends on how much property you would like to be selling off of the elementary lot. Whether I think those I property lines would be the same as you know suffice for what you want. Right. I okay. think the whole 15 acres would have to be surveyed. Nancy. Could be.
10 plus years that maybe just a dollar transfer to the town would be a good idea for the for the dandelion daycare building uh, and let the like town do what it wants to be. i mean the town was very generous in this process for so long and uh, i think it should be looked at about what getting if that would satisfy what they're going to do. If, if selling it back to the town for a dollar would satisfy yeah but um we would the, the maybe want to work out voters, the voters voted the unified board to attempt to sell it right. to gain money to put down towards debt or bonded on this this yeah I'm not that's sure how it was defined for the merger i don't think that they earmarked it specifically as you that we needed to sell it so that we could pay down I think that they wanted they wanted us to sell it just because they were concerned about the liability of that building. Okay. That that's my yes. understanding of. Uh, but we can, you know definitely it's nice to keep them in the conversation as well mm -hmm. uh, because we're all together going to be all together in this though we might need to be taking care of it ahead of time. Um. So. Uh, Joanne was saying that it's there's not a lot of cost to subdividing, but you're, it's the it's lawyers' fees and survey fees. It's primarily survey. Yeah, it would be expensive. That's it. But it has to be done. Right. Well, Stockbridge felt enough about it to put it in an article of agreement. So we do have some kind of obligation to follow through on it before July first. Right. So it would be nice what, if we could do. A, Whoever we sell it to, maybe we can sell for the cost of subdividing. At least. At least. That would be. Well, here we are three months away, and we've known about it for uh, the past four months. So, okay. really, we've well, had we plenty of time. We need to, to figure deal out what the next steps are then. Third, your next meeting. Right? Is it uniform? Uniform. Next Tuesday. Uni uh, joint uniform. Yeah. yeah. What time do they have? Seven. Seven. Thank you. Um, well, can we go there with no information? That's, yeah, we're we're meeting six third. Well, what inf what information? I think the conversation just needs to be started with the zoning committee. I mean, I don't know what information. Yeah, you probably just need to send one rep. Amy, yes. into the school budget, but um, also does the town have any interest in um, owning the building? But that's not kind of a separate question. So zoning, <laughs> what is it, what, what, what is our next steps with looking into subdividing that property? Well, it needs to be, you need to warn the adjoining property owners and have a hearing that's um, warned uh, probably well, at least 30 days, right? 30 day warning to have a hearing to hear any concerns of any adjoining property owners. Okay. And after that happens, the um, application, do you know the timeline, Nancy, exactly? I don't know. I just know it has to be warned 30 days. 30 days. And then, but now it's, it's, it's pretty tight, but it, it might. It could probably, it's like your, your, your budget meeting. <laughs> it's pretty tight. <laughs> so is there any reason to go to the zoning board? 
absolutely. If you want to make this happen on an expedited schedule, I think it's critical that at least someone comes to the zoning board to, to present it and to help. I, I, all I do is the administrator is is enact what they decide. So I, I'm not the decider. It's the, they're the ones to make that decision and set the schedule. You could also get more information from Joan Pontius. Yeah. She'd be a good person. She's around. Is she on the board? She's yes. on the board. before we come to the we wouldn't need it surveyed before we come to the zoning committee would we but the zoning committee would probably be very interested of what exactly we're trying to survey and what we're trying to break off a phone call to him tomorrow morning would satisfy that question okay but it's pretty obvious what we're trying to break off that would be split up right well we're trying to split it up how much of it i i mean does it matter Right now, I mean, but we. I don't think it matters for the um, setting things in motion. Motion, okay. Yeah.
session items. I don't know who put these on yet. There's just one here. No discussion items. 11 public communication and comment. Yes. I was just wondering what's being done about um, some of the historical items, trophies, awards, equipment, uniforms. Is, is there a committee at the school that's handling the, the repurposing or giving back to owners and donating equipment? Is, is there a team or anything that's working on that? Uh, Tony is involved in a group that is getting, getting together to create the um, graduation and also a kind of a closing ceremony type thing. Maybe I'm not sure if you're working towards any of that type but of stuff. Maybe you could also speak to where I that committee is. I don't think anything has been firmed up. We have mentioned it, but it's just one of those things that we we know needs to be done. Well, if there's any um, committee or anything, I mean, I, I would publicize it because there's a lot of alumni in the valley that would love their their plaques back. You know, we have some here. There's trophies, and we would we would be happy to help with that process to make sure these things are preserved and go back to places where they can be swooned over. Or can they be handed over to the historical society? Bonnie asked the Historical Society to come down and go through uh, the buildings looking at things. And we actually have done some of that. Um, we haven't seen everything. I don't think she knows where everything is. Uh, but she's right, she's very concerned that things might disappear or, or get dumpstered. And so she's, Bonnie is right on top of it. Good, yeah. You know, there's been questions about some of the books in the library, especially the high school levels going to the town library. I know the librarian here has asked if that might happen, that they could add to the collection at the town library because some of these books, because we're going to be a pre-K through six, won't be uh, needed okay. for, for that age group. But uh, I don't think there's any decision. But that, that ought to be talked about, mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do with them. Uh, and I know Bonnie's talked to me about uh, some of the memorabilia too, which I didn't really have an answer to. So. And that is all um, the function of this board, correct? Yep. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mason. That's right. Uh, could you speak about the uh, school forest? What's the plan for this? Yep, the school force is actually uh, being reviewed uh, by our lawyer right now, so unfortunately at this meeting we don't have uh, the information. I expect though within the next week or so they'll be able to get us, um, they're reviewing the deed and reviewing the articles of agreement and um, advising us what's going to be the, the right way to handle it. So I'm sorry I don't have more information, but stay tuned, we will. Did they look into that during auction one and said it had to go with the merger? Uh, they're reviewing all that. They uh, did that three other times. This is a freebie, or is, is it going to cost us more money to have the same opinion done again? <laughs> um, and then it, it's pretty clear in the deed what it says, and that is not what the opinion was during option one that uh, the lawyer said. Yeah. He said that it was going to go with the union. So, we needed to clarify that. Well, again, yes. and, and, and <laughs> we that had it clarified the last time. Uh, but he has been charged with that uh, right now, and he's, he's looking into that right now. So, stay tuned. We'll get you the answer very soon, I promise. Any further public communication? Is there any plan in place for the inline daycare to be put on the MLS? market um, so that it gets more exposure or is it just going to be sold word of mouth what would it take to put it on uh, I guess what cost would be associated well there, there would there would be no cost um, you'd, you'd be selecting a realtor and I'd like to think since it is uh, for a, a town and a school uh, entity that you know you would not be charged by a realtor for selling the property, um, 
you can have it put up on MLS by just about any realtor with it doesn't take a whole lot of time and energy. Some, some photos, some measurements, the town lister card, and um, well, you have to have the land. You have to know. It could say approximately. It's, it's going to be what approximately a quarter of an acre. Um, you, you you can get it up there so that somebody's out there looking around. It it'll be advertised. Mm -hmm. I suggest that that we look into doing that as well. that it will be subdivided to be subdivided if you give an approximate quarter acre whatever it's going to go with it um, but the subdivision would have to be done before closing district that is no longer used for educational purposes it is offered back to the town for a dollar yes. they're, they're, they're the first ones who get it but we talk about trying to sell it what interest would the town have I guess I would be going to a select board meeting and speaking with them right and I'm I know, and again, um, due to you know, it would be nice to uh, to cover the costs of the <coughs> subdividing and any costs that are associated. They would have to pay for it if we gave a bike to them. But she's talking about now the preliminary costs, right? Is is that is the Dandelion Daycare something that the town sees? Um, how do I put this? Um, well, more than valuable, but something that they they would really would think would be in the town's best interest at this point to go back to the town rather than to try to do a private sale. Well, there was some talk about perhaps that would be a place to house the historical society. Okay. Um, do we have historical society members here? Yes. Is that something that um, has any interest to them? Well, I think 
that it only was broached with us casually the other night. So the historical society really doesn't know anything about <laughs> the interest they might have in it. So we don't have to move that stuff very far. We have a 
market analysis or what they think it might be worth. Yeah, well, do we have to make a motion or anything about contracting with a, um, a real estate agent? Probably should, yes. Okay. That's where you want to go. <coughs> so move. We'll Sure. Yeah, so okay, I'd like to make a motion that we contract uh, with Patty Harvey as a real estate agent to um, to list the Dandelion daycare uh, building and property for sale. What you, would your company not would do, right? What's your company? company? What's your commission? Zero for the town. It's a good deal. Yeah. Right. And you'll advertise this? I will. Just the MLS or other places? MLS, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, and the Herald. Do you have a contract with you? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> pending yeah, contract right. approval. <laughs> Excuse me, go ahead. What's your name? Yeah, I, uh, just a point of clarification here. Wouldn't the first step be to find out if the town was interested yes. and if they're not then it would be <coughs> the choice of the school board to put it up for sale in the, in the private world but I, I didn't Amy just read that you had to offer it to the town first uh, no. that is when we join when we come into the new district on July 1 that is the agreement in the new district once it is all, all of our properties, we will own Stockbridge School, Stockbridge <coughs> property. Well, don't we have two of the three select board here? How would you? It's not a board. Well, it's not a board meeting. <laughs> we don't even know each other right now. I understand that, but how would we get the pulse of the town to find out this? Go to the meeting. Put it on the agenda for the next town meeting. They don't want to town meeting. They don't want to sit. The next select board meeting. Okay. You said town meeting, didn't you? Select board. She meant select board. Okay. Uh, and who do we contact about putting that on the agenda? Julian. Okay. She's here. You can decline any offer anyway. Yeah. This doesn't keep us from going to the town, does it? Right. Anyway. No, not at all. No. Okay. Open all your avenues. All the things. We're, we're trying to move some property. Right. Yeah. Watch it. People get $200,000 for it, it's a heartbeat. <laughs> we can put that back into the, to the budget, that would be great. That's not talk about numbers. I know. We also have a special meeting to, in advance of April 9th. We could lie with saying we could put uh, out the special meeting uh, concurrent with the planning board meeting so we could all sit together and, and discuss this. Because that's coming up just next um, next Tuesday night, right? We have time. Um, we have time to warn yeah, that. Yeah, we just right? have to warn that three days ahead of time. I mean, we're, time we're, we're, we're willing to work with the school board to expedite this. I just cannot be at that meeting because I have to be at a budget meeting that night. Uh, but I'm. I can be there. But tough. Okay. And unfortunately, it's in Starford at six thirty. 5.30, I could be there. No, the planning board meeting is at 6. Is it 6? Yeah, I have to be in Stockbridge for a 6.30 meeting, but maybe I can. Somebody said 7. Okay. 6. Can you contact me? Okay, so, um, we have to be at the planning board meeting for 5.30. We could have that conversation. You, okay, you'd be, um, be willing to do that? Or I could contact Joanne about um, the logistics of that? I can probably do that. Okay. What's that? To have a select board meeting on April 3rd at uh, 5.30. 5.30. And then followed by the... Um, it's board. Planning board. Planning board. Planning I just... Planning board. April. No, it's the planning board and the zoning committee, the same thing. Just two different names for it. 
passages they actually <coughs> No, April 3rd, Third, Tuesday. Third, yes. Tuesday. Okay, thank you very much. Do you still have a motion for contracting with a realtor open? Or? It was moved and seconded. Okay. Yeah, and I, sp I, I redid it so it was specifically named okay. to kind of... Just want to make sure I have the minutes right now. Yeah. But we didn't know. Right. We, there's a motion and a seconded right now. And discussion. And discussion. We're in discussion. Any further discussion? <laughs> if not... Did that. So, Amy, you do need to get on the agenda of the planning board. Yes. And Joan... I think Joan Pontius does the agenda. Yes. Contract with the real estate, real estate agent. <laughs> Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, any further public communication? We, we know our next meeting date, correct? Did you just um, change I, it to May? Did well, you just change it to May? You have it as May 1st, the first Tuesday of May, so are you not meeting in April? Correct, because it would be April 3rd would be our first meeting because we changed our uh, regular scheduled meetings to the first Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. Now we all have another meeting to go on the 3rd. I have a feeling we are going to need to do a special meeting um, after we meet with the um, planning board. But the next yeah. regular scheduled meeting will be the first Tuesday in May. But again, I'm sure there will be special meeting, another special meeting. You haven't designated a time yet. You're just making that day. Oh, the time was before the Rochester Stockbridge District meeting. So I believe it, we decided 5:30. Your meetings, I said. You had a. 
originally posted your or put on here that your meeting was going to be at six. Is that still the time? No, we were going to do it before the district meeting, and I just am unsure what time the district meeting is. If it's six or six thirty, I kind of th I thought it was six thirty, because when our regular district meeting was going to be. No, so five thirty would work. So five thirty would work because they'd give us that'd be an hour before. Thought I had. Yeah, that's the special. So five thirty. Be. 5.30 the first Tuesday of the month before the district meeting will be our regular scheduled school board meetings. And the location will be a Alternating before between Stockbridge and Rochester. So it'll be, so it'll be determined. determined. Yeah. Uh, future agenda items or table. Thank you. Sure, I make a motion to adjourn. Second.